Hi, I'm Sharon Sharp Williams and I've lived most of my adult life here in Natchez and raised my family here. And I wanted to share some of Natchez with you. We have just wonderful, beautiful architecture. And this is one example right behind me. It's the Shields Townhouse. Today we had the great opportunity of talking with Emily McNeil, the business director of the Natchez Manor and we've got to hear all about how her explanation of what the wonderful things she has planned for the Natchez Manor in downtown Natchez. Hi, today on Wow Natchez, I'm with Emily McNeil of the Natchez Manor located in historic downtown Natchez. Hi, how are you? Hi, can you tell us a little bit, Emily, about what brought you to Natchez? Um, well, I work for a man, Eric Berry, and his father is from Natchez, Mississippi. Born and raised here, um, collegiate athlete, went on and uh, seemed to be very loved here. And so they, after Eric was successful in the NFL, he wanted to come back here and reinvest into the Natchez community. Oh, that's, we love stories like that. We are so excited that you're here. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do around the land? Well, um, Eric placed me on this project originally to head up the construction. You know, the building hadn't been uh, kind of revitalized or rehabbed in about 10 years. A lot of money was dumped into it back then, and then it was kind of kind of fizzled. So we had to do a lot of building maintenance, all the boring stuff we kind of had to replace. And then it was getting that business structure back in. We, we did hit the balloon festival. We were able to be open for that, had a full house. It was amazing. And then went back under construction to redo and update that kitchen. Um, and then that opened up with probably the worst time ever to open, which was March 6th with our grand opening. Oh. So my role during all of that time was business development, yes. getting the structure, all of the hiring, and placing my key components where they should be to run the business. Then with Corona hitting, yes. everything kind of took off a weird pivot. And so now it's I've morphed into some other roles, but it's also made me fall in love with the community a little bit more, get in touch a little bit more learn my staff a little bit more and so now it's kind of changed where business director is also doer of the stuff and and you know I'm not afraid to get in the kitchen and not that I have and they won't let me right. but, um, but kind of kind of sitting at all roles right that's great well since you've been here what are the things that you love about matches uh, first off we're, we're first. <laughs> um, you can eat really well in Natchez. Um, it may not be the healthiest of choices sometimes, but you can find those too. Um, but then the people are really kind and they want to get to know you, especially if you're an outsider. They want to welcome you in. Um, and then, you know, it's a walking community. It's got that downtown, not downtown, that old historic charm. Um, it's, it's great. Like, I love it here. And, and the weather, you know, everyone's like, oh, it's so hot. It's fine. It's fine. They haven't cooked me yet. It's fine. That's great. Can you tell us a little more about the Natchez Manor in the future? Sure, of course. So the, the Natchez Manor is a 14-room bed and breakfast. It's got the two suites and the, the 12 other normal, more normal, hotel-style rooms, kind of OD style. Each one of them is decorated a little different. It's got the Southern Bistro, which is on the main level. It's what you see from all the windows. Yes. It's got the Franklin Street Bar, which is in the basement, yes. which was revitalized. Everybody kind of sees it as a speakeasy kind of thing. Yes. And then you've got the rooftop bar that will open July 1st. Oh, and it's, that's it's amazing. I'm very proud of this project. Um, and it should, you know, during COVID, it'll be at about 24 and then it'll go up to about 40. But a great place to just hang out and kind of enjoy the weather. It's going to have a nice breeze through it. So it's, it's kind of a multiplex, if you will. Right. Big project. This will be a great addition to downtown Natchez. Emily, if you had one word to describe, what would that be? Ah, it, it'd probably be driven. Um, and it, I have, I'm driving this bus. We're going forward. We're, it's the Natchez bus. We're going forward. It's, it's driven. Well, that is really exciting news for Natchez. And what I find happening in Natchez, I see it happening right before my eyes. There are, especially in this block, there are going to be several venues. Sure. and places to come here, live music, local artists, you know, and it's just going to be a great destination, music destination. Right, we're giving an activity on every night, of like our rooftop, you've got cigar night one night, you've got wine Wednesday, you've got acoustic music on Thursday, we've got something that's enticing that gives some variety to this area, more than just, hey, we're open and have a drink. Right, you know, come, come have fun with us and participate with us. Right. Well, these are wonderful things happening in Natchez, Mississippi. So, wow, Natchez. <laughs> Emily, since you've been in Natchez, what motivates you every day to get up and get going? 
the vision of this place. We're, we've, we've envisioned it, we've created it, we've done the numbers, we've done we've done the ordering. Now it's let's see it all come into play and let's see those faces in this place. Let's see it eat our food. Let's hear those compliments which we're receiving. That's what I want. It's it's the it's that warm fuzzy that's coming back from the community. That is perfect. Who is it that most inspired you to come to that? Well, it, it's the finger points at Eric. Uh, as Eric placed me on this project, having the faith that it's, it's going to get done. But knowing the Berry family, knowing their presence here, knowing their sense of class, the way, the way they like things done, Eric is, is one of the hardest workers you'll ever meet. And so there's never any excuses. There's no reason why things shouldn't be the best of their ability. And because of that, he's always been like that. Ever since I worked for him for eight years, it's we do it, we do it big, we do it hard, we go, and we make it great. And, and so that's been the motivation is I don't want to disappoint him, but it's, it's also a sense of pride for me too. I feel like this has been one of my best projects that I've, I've put forth for him and for that family. So pretty proud to work under the Berry family. Yes, that's great. In our Out and About segment, we are in Jackson, Mississippi at the Mississippi Museum of Art. They are running a special exhibit called Impressionist, where you will find works by Monet, Van Gogh, Degas, Manet, Toulouse-Lautrec, and Picasso. So be sure to make this part of your summer itinerary. Be sure to wear a mask and come and see the artist at the Museum of Art this summer. Here we have an example of a beautiful Claude Monet done in a monochromatic fashion. He takes the black with the white and mixes the tones of gray. Even though it looks full of color, it's simply Tones of Gray by Claude Monet. This painting is done by Noah Satterstrom, who is a native of Natchez, Mississippi. It's housed in the permanent collection of the Mississippi Museum of Art. So make a plan to come to the Mississippi Museum of Art. It's a great short two-hour trip. It's a great day trip to come to Jackson to actually see this amazing art, to see the museum, to see the outdoor art, to visit with the gift shop, Museum gift shops are always the best. So come to the museum gift shop, see the artwork, Mississippi Museum of Art. For more this and more information about this exhibit and the Mississippi Museum of Art, go to MississippiMuseumArt.org.